I'm Awesome Sass. I'm Blue Victory. I'm Rock Paper Mario, and we are the All Night Gamers. Welcome everybody to the All Night Gamers. In this week's edition, we have a great LP here on the line from Ireland, Rock Paper Mario. Hey everyone. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, a little interview with our guest. So just give us a little overview of what you do on YouTube. Okay. Basically, I have two channels. One is my LPing channel and one is my vlogging channel, but I presume it's the LP one that's most important in this case. I started LPing back in August and... So far I've only done Nintendo games, but I, I just like to have fun. I like to not care about what the viewers want and just play a game like I always would. And is, another thing is I don't really plan what I'm going to do in Let's Plays. I just like to kind of decide what I'm going to do on the day. All the Let's Plays I've done so far, they've kind of been spur of the moment things where I just sat down and said, okay, I'll record my next Let's Play. And um, what's it going to be? I'll pick something off the shelf. <laughs> Right. That's sort of the philosophy that me and uh, Sweet Victory have about RL thing. We don't really, I don't know, it's not It's not something we, we, I think about at least. I try to plan, but I don't know why. I keep having the crappiest luck. Uh, yeah, poor, I know. Yeah, poor yeah, Kyle. Yeah. Poor me. Yeah, why don't you cry about it, emo kid? I will. Do you want a big dirt bottle, baby? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was, that was harsh. But, you know, he's, he's Irish. Yeah, so, so it's okay to... I just, I, I'm just going to attribute everything to Rock Paper Mario being Irish today. So. What my cruel bloodthirstiness is attributed to my heritage, obviously. Well, of course, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we, I've got a, I've got a, a question or two. I'm sure, Sweet Victory has a question or two for you for the uh, little interview here. So let me see. Uh, what is your favorite video game? My favorite video game. That's quite a tough one. I mean, I suppose the one that would spring to mind straight away would probably be Wind Waker, which I'm LPing at the moment. Mm -hmm. But that one's always kind of vied for position with Majora's Mask. They're probably my two favorite games ever. And then Mario Sunshine is in there as well, <laughs> for some right. reason. See, that, that kind of surprises <laughs> me. Oh, really? Yeah, because a lot of people, you know, like, kind of talk down to it. To a Wind Waker just because of the new graphic style. Well, I mean, it's good to see another like hardcore fan of Wind Waker because that's to be one of my favorites too. Oh yeah, me too. I love that game. I've clocked a lot of hours on it. Yeah, I just I think I was just telling a friend of mine yesterday that they should change Wind Waker's tagline to "Better than Twilight Princess" because it so is. <laughs> I was so disappointed by that game. I actually haven't played that yet. I feel really I bad. I didn't think it was that bad. But... It's not bad, it's just it didn't click with me for a couple of reasons. First of all, I found it was far too linear for a Zelda game. It really did lead you on and on, and you didn't... Just wait, with Wind Waker, once you get to a certain point, about a third of the way through the game, the whole world kind of opens up. With Twilight Princess, that doesn't happen until about four-fifths of the way through the game, and it's only then that you feel that you're kind of just able to wander through the world without any kind of responsibilities, yeah. really. Um, that's the one thing that really bugged me about that game. Well, you know, when you're a, when you're a hero, you can't be walking around fishing and <laughs> stealing stealing people's hats and. It's not like Final Fantasy. <laughs> it is the end of the world coming on. Um, as well, the boomerang sucked in Twilight Princess. I know. Oh, the one thing that really bugged me about Twilight Princess mainly is like if you decided you wanted to stray from the path, you had so little options. You go find bugs, or you can go to trial. That's about it. Plus, I mean, after I finished the game, I had no motive to go back through it again, which was odd for me, because I like to replay it on occasion, but that was, that was just it. I didn't want to anymore. Yeah, I felt the exact same way. Like, I 100 percent did it, and I was just like, okay. And I don't find myself wanting to play it again, whereas I play through Wind Waker on average once a yeah. year. Wow. I don't, I don't play any games that much. <laughs> I, I don't play games over again, because I, I was really terrible as a kid. Like, I got Sonic 2, and... I hadn't beaten it by the time I was uh, probably 12, 13, and so I started using cheats. Cheater. And then I started using cheats on every game I ever got. <laughs> and then basically, Cheater. I haven't beaten Ocarina of Time. What? Um, it was only this year, it was only this year on an LP that I beat Sonic 1 for the first time. You never beat Ocarina of Time? Well, that's understandable, because <laughs> Sonic 1 is a pain in the ass. I know, <laughs> Sonic 1 is brutal. I beat Sonic and Knuckles. Oh yes, you did. The, actually, we we played Sonic and Knuckles, and Kyle kicked some major ass in that game with the use of several save states. Sonic, well, yeah, we did have <laughs> save states, but Sonic and Knuckles is a freaking beast. 
it is, it's a monster. But I think the one thing that makes me want to play Sonic and Knuckles and just not stop playing is that it just looks amazing. Like, I, I, know, I don't it know how really pretty. they made it look that brilliant. Like, And I think they really pulled out all the stops on the gameplay in that game as well. Absolutely. Okay, well, um, that uh, is all I have for the interview. I had some more obscure questions uh, ready um, <laughs> about your ethnicity, but I probably don't think... <laughs> do, do we call it an ethnicity? I don't think it counts as an ethnicity. I'm not sure. Yes, I would. I'll I'm bring sorry. you to The Hague if you start talking about my ethnicity. <laughs> You'll bring me to what? <laughs> to The Hague, to the court of human rights. <laughs> oh, seriously? <laughs> Oh my god! No, we'll just, oh my god! I, I'll I just can't send have Samuel this. Jackson I can't have on. this in my life right now. I can't go to <laughs> I can't go to jail, man. I'm too young. One more thing about Wind Waker, though, for any of his fans who are watching that, uh, the the ending is epic. Because that game is epic. It truly is. Yeah, so go check that out. Go check that out on uh, his channel, which is youtube.com slash rockpapermario, correct? Yep, that's true. All right, that brings us to our section of gaming predictions. So, first game we'll be talking about this week is Uncharted 3, coming out November 1st, 2011. Who else is excited? Is the fact I've never played one? Well, <laughs> well, have you seen the preview? I've watched you play it. I watched you play the second one. And I don't have a PS3. <laughs> well, I, maybe I'm the only one excited about it here, but when I saw the preview for Uncharted 3, I squealed like a little girl. I mean, if, if it's going to be oh, anything like I the, did. the I did. Third, second one, it looks pretty epic, because that game is really awesome. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Well, I just, you know, I, I just can't get enough of uh, Nathan Drake's hunky, hunky pecs. <laughs> 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 you like MacGyver, don't you, Alan? <laughs> what you gotta say about it? I like what the man can do with a rubber band and a paperclip, okay? <laughs> no, they, well, like, I've never played an Uncharted game either, but they look pretty interesting from what I've seen. Yeah. I don't know if I'm... I don't know if I'm talking out my ass here, but they, they remind me of what Tomb Raider games used to be like when they were good. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's what they remind well, me of. Well, the cool thing about them is they're part platformer, part action game, as in a la the Call of Duty games when they're actually about the action sequences. They're also part puzzler, part mm. parkour, part just action-adventure movie, which is what is so appealing to me. It has this sort of pulp action feel without feeling uh, like a rehash of some old movie. And mm. the third one is actually going to have a plot that's set in the desert, which really excites me, just because so many old action movies, I'm a, kind of a movie buff, so many old pulp action movies are set in the desert. Two Indiana Jones movies are. The desert is where action happens. Yep. Even though there's nothing there. Exactly. Yeah, nothing happens in the desert in real life. That's why but... they do things in the movie, because <laughs> yeah. the desert has nothing in it, so you're forced to look at the people doing things, which makes the action ever more action -y. That's a word. Yes. And it's really cheap to film there. Yep. <laughs> yes, what exactly. We need none. We got sand. We set. We, we got, got sand. sand. That's all we can Anyway, I think it's going to be fantastic, but uh, there's not much more else to say here uh, other than I think it's just going to be great. So that brings us to our second game, which is... <laughs> say it. Power Tennis! Oh, yeah! Oh, that's too extreme for that one. <laughs> we're pulling off of that one. I thought we were going to talk about Max Payne 3 and how it was ridiculous. Oh yeah, Max Payne 3. <laughs> Max Payne... <laughs> it's about the family that his family killed. Wasn't it Max Payne 4? Yeah, Max Payne got his family killed, and then uh, what? What is the what is the reasoning behind these games? Honestly, Gun I mean, you played the first one, right, Harry? I did, yeah. Yeah, I have, yeah. And I thought it was a pretty good game. Yeah. I actually haven't played it. What, what's the gameplay like? It's pretty good. It reminds me of basically any PlayStation shooter game, but like they put in cool stuff, like you're able to slow down time and all yeah. this kind of crap. But it it was pretty good. I I liked it. I haven't played it in about four or five years now, I don't think, but as far as I remember, I liked it like I finished it. That's how much I liked it, and I think if I finish a game, that kind of <laughs> tells me I like it, because I don't bother finishing them off. Yeah. Ones. Right. <laughs> awesome. It's one of the Fantastic. few shooters I actually enjoyed. Right? Well, um... The plot seems fun. So, the plot basically is his family dies, his family dies, his family dies, and then